Hello, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my bedroom. Some time ago I was contacted by a lovely company called Fry Curvy and they asked me if I would like to receive some evening wear to show to you guys, some evening dresses or whatever. And I thought how wonderful because I was due to go on my cruise and I thought that will do two birds of one stone. I can show you guys their lovely stuff and I can, and I can get some new stuff for, to wear on my cruise. Unfortunately, due to shipping times from overseas, the parcel with all the lovely cruise wear that I had planned to wear my cruise arrived two days after I departed. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you some lovely things that you could wear for Christmas. Now I haven't actually opened any of the bags. One of them is already open at the top. Hang on. One of them is already open at the top. I think that's just because the seal hasn't sealed properly. So we'll open that one first. And because I ordered it a while back, I can't actually remember what I ordered. Let me move you back a bit. I've only got the vaguest recollection. Hello, my. I've only got the vaguest recollection of what I actually ordered. So it's going to be as much of a surprise for me as it is for you. So this one is blue. The Fly Caravira Company do plus size evening wear, by the way. Now, this is going to be quite creased because, as I said, I haven't taken out the bag. So we've got a vest top underlayer there in the dark blue. Oh, this was a trouser set. Matching trousers again in the dark blue. And then this is the top layer. So this is the bit that made it glamorous. So this is a long line. It is going to be a bit creased. I apologize for that. It's a long line, flocked velour velvet. Really nice, actually very pretty. I, what I will do is before I try them on in a second I'll put them all on the mannequin so that you can see them on the mannequin and I'll also try to pop in a picture here of how they look on the Fly Curvy website so that you are going to get the full benefit of how they're meant to look not when they've just come out of the packaging. So that's the first set. I think there's only one trouser set if I remember rightly but I may not remember rightly. In my second bag this feels like a dress Certainly I'm rolling like a dress. Here is the second piece. That's very long. I think it has a sweetheart top. Again, I'll put the pictures in so you can see how it's meant to look. Might not be a sweetheart. I might be holding it the wrong way around. There we go. It does have a sweetheart top and then a sheer panel. And that's full length, I think. And it may have a slightly raised hemline. Okay, that's number two. Here is number three. It has a zip back, a slightly wrapped front. This one's long sleeved. It has a chiffon sleeve. And again, full length. As you know, if you are a regular, sorry, they're quite staticky where they've just come out of the packaging. If you are a regular viewer, you'll know that I don't like my legs. I have problems with my legs. They swell. One swells more than the other. One is almost always a bit misshapen. And so I like something that will cover my legs if possible which is why these are all longer length. At least I hope they are if I've ordered correctly. Oh, so what's this? This is top and skirt, I think. Long line, sleeveless top with a gold flame detail to the neckline. That's in velour. Oh, and a long overshirt. Maybe that's a dress, not a top. If so, that's not quite what I thought I'd ordered. I'm puzzled if I've ordered that because that means there's nothing for my bottom half. But, um, and a long line jacket to go over the top. I'm very static. This jumper isn't helping. Everything's getting very static and my jumper's full of static as well. And then number five. It's not dissimilar to one of the earlier ones. So again, we've got a chiffon over layer. This one is chiffon all the way down. I'll pop them on the mannequin. I won't film myself doing the popping on the mannequin. I'll show you some shots in a second of how they look on my mannequin and then I'll try them on me but you have to remember my mannequin is size 16 and I am very much larger than that so I'll be back in a sec. Okay so here's the first set on my mannequin and I have to say it's looking better already it didn't look its best when it just came out of the packaging. I really like this overshirt I really think that's very pretty still very creased obviously but look how pretty that is with the leaf detail Here's the second dress. Now, again, I said my mannequin is a size 16, so this dress is far too big for my mannequin. I'm liking this neckline again. I'm liking the sleeve. 
That's kind of a three quarter length sleeve. I am a bit worried that there seems to be a rise at the front, but I still don't think that'll be a problem for my leg. You know, my leg issues that I talked about, I think that will be okay, but we'll find out. Here is the blue dress, and as before, it is huge on the mannequin. So we've got a full length chiffon sleeve on this one. It has a wrap front, and this time a full skirt. These dresses look really quite long. This one I feel less confident about. It is a dress, but it is shorter, and then it has the long jacket over the top. And I feel like that's not going to be ideal for my leg, but I love this long jacket. Really like the long jacket. That would have been so lovely on the cruise. It's such a shame these things didn't arrive in time. And the final one has again the flocked detail around the top, a three quarter sleeve, and it is full length. I know they all look pretty shapeless on the mannequin, but as I said many times now, the mannequin is a size 16. I've ordered almost all of these in a 4XL, I believe, so. I am experiencing the age old problem of women throughout the years. I can't do my dress up on my own and there's nobody home to help me. I've got it most of the way up. That'll have to do. I really like it. It's such a shame it didn't arrive in time for my cruise because this would have been perfect. It's very comfortable. I'm going to move you back. Moved you back in the hopes that you'll be able to see more. I really hope you can see properly. Now I'm so far away that I can't see you with these glasses. So I really hope you can see properly. Imagine it was done up properly, which it isn't. It's really comfortable. It's, it's still a little bit staticky from the packaging, but apart from that, it's got a full length underskirt and then it has a flocked overskirt. Can you see that? I haven't got any shoes on. My heeled shoes are under the bed, but I hate heels anyway. I don't get on in heels, so I probably would wear flats. Let's pop the shoes on that I would wear with it. You can't see my feet anyway, can you? That was a waste of time. Feet with shoes on. You have to trust me. <laughs> I'll angle the camera down so you can see the bottom better. So it is floor length, which is lovely. It's such a nice length. It hides my horrible, horrible legs. I feel really quite confident in it. I'm a bit bulgy here from the after, oh, a bit wobbly as well, but from the after effects of cruise. But I wish I'd had this in time. I really do. This would have been perfect. I honestly think we could say this first one is a hit. I just wish I could do it up on my own. <laughs> oh, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. I did it. Also, please ignore the fact that I've got a blue bra on. I definitely should have changed to a to a black bra before starting this, but I wish I'd had this in time for my cruise because it would have been absolutely perfect. I have got another cruise booked. It'll be coming with me on that one. Let's try the next outfit. Now this one's not working quite as well, and I think the reason for that is it's too big. I ordered it in the same size, but it is quite a bit larger. Now, as you can see, it's very gapy here. You could definitely alter this. You could solve that, but it's too big on my shoulders. Now, this is a problem that I have a lot because my top half lost weight faster than my bottom half. So when I buy to accommodate my bottom half, things are big here. So that's not necessarily the dress at fault. I don't love the sleeves, but then I've never really loved a kind of a balloon sleeve. And it is too long. I'll angle the camera down and you can see. So if I wore heels, I could probably get away with this but I don't wear heels and as you can see it's actually dragging on the floor there's there's where I would want it to be really so that my feet poke out, poke out so I think I'd have to have quite a big heel as well to be able to get away with this it really is very long and it is it's a comfortable fit here again as I said that's annoying for me because that's I buy to accommodate that and then it's too large on the top half but it is very very long if you are a tall and generously proportioned lady this will probably work really well for you because it is really, really long. So not all larger ladies are short and round. Some of them are tall and curvy. So this might work very well for you if you're a tall, curvy lady. Let's try on the next one. This one I think is a real shame because I like this detailing. It's a mixture of good and bad. I like the detailing. I like the pattern. I love the longer line jacket, but the dress is short. Let me show you what I mean. So it's fine to hear, but it's a knee length dress. And I would never wear anything that exposed my horrible legs. Obviously, if you're going to wear it, you'd probably wear tights. Let me put you down lower. You would probably wear tights, but even in tights, I'd be very unhappy in a dress this length. And that's a shame. It's very clingy and staticky at the moment. 
I'm sure that's partly the um, centre heating and so on and so forth and the fact they've been in the packaging. But I, I would never get my legs out like this. I loathe my legs. I really like this long line jacket. It's actually longer than the dress. I love this bit, but the dress, also it's sleeveless, so I wouldn't wear it without the jacket because I would not get my, I wouldn't get my arms out in public. But I love the jacket. Maybe I can wear the jacket with something else, just a plain top or something because the dress is not for me, sadly. This is number four, and this is another one that I would have loved to have in time for cruise. I really like these sleeves. Are they called, are they called trumpet sleeves? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I like the top. It gives you a little bit of a decolletage without really revealing too much. This one was also a zip, but I've actually put it on without undoing it. I just put it straight over my head. I would have liked it for cruise. I would have had to wear it with tights. Let me show you the lower half. I would have had to wear it with tights because it stops mid calf and my fat cankles would have been hanging out, but I would have worn tights anywhere. And I would have worn this with the slight heel shoes because can you see the train at the back goes down slightly lower. These are the piles of clothes that I've taken off by the way, because I'm slovenly. There we go. <laughs> the train goes back slightly lower at the back. And so I would want heels to stop me, to stop it dragging quite so much. But I really love this. I love this. It's such a shame it didn't come in time. This one is another definite win. I like the, the feel of the skirt. I like the way it flows behind. Yeah. The only problem with telling myself I can save them for the next cruise is that I hope it was hoping to be a lot smaller by then. Maybe I could have them altered, excuse the tag. Maybe I could have them altered if I have succeeded in losing weight by then. Maybe I could have them taken in so that they, uh, so that I get the use out of them. Because I love them. Man, many of these things would be ideal for Christmas occasions. It's just that I don't tend to go on very many Christmas parties. Or at least not the kind where you need a ball game. I really like this one. There's one outfit left and this one's the trouser suit. Now this has a slightly less ball gowny vibe to it and a slightly more evening wedding guest kind of thing going on. The trousers are very long and extremely roomy here. If anybody wanted to get in I could make room for two in there but the vest top is a lovely fit and I really do quite like the overshirt so I'm leaving you pointed down so that you can see the length of it. As you can see the trousers are a bit long. The trousers would need taking up a bit. It's giving mother of the bride, mother of the groom, mother of somebody, I don't know. I'm not, I haven't am not. got any brides or grooms coming up in this family. But um, yeah, I like this. I think it's different. I really like the flower effect on the sleeves there. It's incredibly comfy. If you are looking for a mother of the bride outfit and you're thinking, oh, but I don't want to be all trussed up. Because one of the worst things about a special occasion for family when you have to be smart is that you feel so trussed up in what you're wearing. But if you're looking for something suitable for mother of the bride that isn't too trussy I think this could be a win. I, it's very comfortable and I really do like it. Well there we go I, I love this I could wear that I could easily wear this for an event I'd have to shorten the trousers but it's so comfortable. <laughs> That's it I've tried on all five. There is a fly curvy code that I'll put on the screen now and I'll also put the details in the description box for you. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's such a shame these dresses didn't arrive in time for my cruise, but it isn't anybody's fault. It's not the company's fault. It's just one of those things. Shipping from overseas takes a while. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the outfits. I think we've got at least three clear winners. The first dress, the fourth dress, and this one. They're clear winners for me. The black velour with the gold, I really like the shirt, but I didn't like the dress. And unfortunately, the long blue dress was just too big and too long. But apart from that, I'm, I'm so pleased. I'm so impressed with the quality of the stuff as well. It feels nice, and I and I think it's I think it's incredibly value, incredibly good value for money. But it also looks fairly high end, which is important as well, isn't it? Thank you again to Fly Curvy for sending me these clothes free of charge to show you guys. All the links will be in the description box. Roll on my next cruise so I get the chance to wear some of these things. Take care. Bye for now.